You, again. What do you mean again? Did you follow me here? No, I made a delivery here. Yeah? Are elves always so cynical? Yes, relentlessly, these are dark times. So, having not followed you here, mm -hmm. and having made my delivery, mm -hmm. and you having bumped into me by chance, here we are. Here we are? Well, for instance, we could go for a walk together. Why do you keep trying to take me for a walk? I'm not a dog. We are wearing a collar. Oh, lol. You know what? I'm just not in the mood for a walk. Why? Well, fine. OK, I was just incredibly bad at what I do in front of people who could have given me a job. I thought you had a job. Yes, but it's not what I do do. I'm not a career elf. Oh, what do you do? Sing. Wow. That's pretty amazing. I just can't seem to at the moment. Anyway, boing, boing, boing. La, 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 la. I'm not bored. Actually, who are you? I'm Tom. Kate? Why are you so flexible? Why are you dressed like an elf? You know why. And you know what? I have had my fill of utterly hilarious elf jokes for one night. Cover me. Here. Here. You are now my cupboard door. So you do this often? Only when I have to. <laughs> oh, piss off. Nice covering. I'm, I'm trying my best to. Oh, no, hang on. Where are we going? This way. Come on. Oh. Look at that. You never seen this alleyway before? Nope. This is the narrowest alley in London. My mate Hendo, he calls it Fat Man Squeeze. It's pretty cool, though, isn't it? Sure, why not? I like hidden places. Has anyone ever told you there's something slightly serial killery about you? No. Come to think of it, no one's ever said that to me before. Ah. Never more than once, anyway. Why are you always dancing about? Look up. Oh, wow. Are they mice? Yeah, I think so. There must be a story attached to them. I'll have to find out one day. Yeah, I mean, it's very... God. You are so strange. <laughs> You're so weird. Keep looking up. <laughs> oh! You okay? Oh, no! Just my luck! I face plant into a pile of rubbish because I wasn't looking where I was going like a bloody normal person. Well, you're not used to looking up. Or smelling like a bin. Yeah, seen this? I've seen what? Oh my god! Yeah? I've walked down the street so many times, I've never seen that before. Like I say, follow me. This is cool. Welcome to my secret little garden. I had no idea this existed. Not many people do. Oh. Oh, have a look over there. It's Gideon. Yes. He's recently divorced. Uh? He owes 748 pounds in child support. How do you know? I heard him have a very loud phone conversation right behind that shrub. What, he probably thought no one could hear him. Oh, and that's Jeff, the mafia don. Really? Works at Burger King. <laughs> He's also a vegan, so very conflicted. Who's she? That's Ursula. She lives in the flats around the back. She runs a brothel down in Bethel Green. Now, some of the girls, they used to come, take a seat, used to have a chat, and then go back to work. Do you think she was giving them tips? No. More like a bit of support. I want to talk to her. No, you can't do that. No, 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 no. Everyone keeps everyone's secrets around here. It's like an unspoken rule. You just told me Gideon's. Fair point. You're one of us, then. Hmm. So when's your next audition? Saturday. It's for Frozen. What's that? Yeah! <laughs> you really don't know. Oh, really? OK, it's a film about two sisters who used to get on really well and then don't because one of them has a problem with ice. And the production is on ice. Ah. Huh. So you can skate as well as it? No. You can't skate? Never tried it. I'm going to wing it. It'll be cool. I really enjoyed our walk today. Ditto. Would you like to 
repeat the experience? Would you like to give me your number? I don't have a phone. <laughs> my God, I was just beginning to think you're not as weird as you look. Before you throw me in the bin with the rest of your battered conquests, it's not completely true. I do have a phone. It's just locked in a cupboard. Why? Well, I got so tired of staring at my hand all day. I mean, you should try it. It's like saying you should try death. I think somebody really wants to get hold of yeah, you. Yeah, no, I know. Someone really isn't going to get the chance. <clears throat> no. <laughs> Ditch that. All of your stresses will just melt away. Oh, but I just like stress. Oi, you getting on? Yeah. Your chariot awaits. Indeed. Oh. I'll see you at the store. OK. And don't forget, look up. Oh, for God's sake, shut up, will you? Your sweet, madam. <laughs> you called uh, just before we got the crib up, so there was still room. Yeah. Uh, this is <laughs> going to be so good for my sex life. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ruth. Hey, Kate. Thanks for this. Holding up? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fine. Totally fine. How's it all been? Re-entry and all that. Your house Santa. Oh, you know, fine. Her usual curt Asian self. I thought you might have decided to move on. No, no. What with something that started as a Saturday job. Yeah. Come for where I am. And um, uh, what about the old folks and Mad Marta with her law firm? Oh, and her briefcase. I stay out of contact with the crazies. Um, you know, just give myself a bit of space. Yeah, the doctor's keeping in touch. How about being pregnant? Huh? <laughs> Crying out loud, how's that? It is a total conspiracy, <laughs> is what it is. Yeah? So they lie to you about pregnancy. You know, the whole glowing mother-to-be image you see yeah. in the ads is just bollocks. You know, genuine bollocks. It's just a nine-month-long trauma <sighs> spent piddling into cups, is. being poked up the vag by strangers with cold hands. And, you know, if men had to do this <laughs> we would have contraceptive beer. You know, actually, if men had to do it, the human race would just... Die out. Shh. No, Ruth. I know you know all this, and I know you're fed up with feminism in general. I'm not but... fed up with feminism. No, I mean, she's not listening. That's not right. This is a fish knife. I'm trying to cut a passion fruit with a fish knife. If anyone can do it, you can. It's your fault. You did this.